All right, Legends, welcome back to video number 31 on Introduction to PHP and MySQL. And in this video, we're going to talk about the PHP statement break. And a few videos back, I talked about how break breaks out of a loop or a switch statement. So in this video, I really want to dive deep in how to use break in PHP. So I'm going to go ahead and create a for each loop. No, I'll create a for loop. We created a for each loop for the last video tutorial. So let's give this for loop some love. So I'll create for loop and in parentheses I'll create our initial variable and I'll set it to VP and will equal zero or one we'll just do zero and then add a semicolon and as long now we've got to create a condition so as long as this is true we want this to run so we'll create VP is less than or equal to 100 and then let's go ahead and create another semicolon. And how do we want to increment this? Well, we want to increment it by one. So I'm going to go ahead and type out our variable again, VP, and then plus plus. And remember, we do not use a semicolon after our third expression. So now I'm going to go ahead and create our curly brackets where we're going to execute our statement. And if in here, just like our last video on continue, we're going to give it an if statement. So if VP equals, nope, I don't know, we'll say 15, we'll just do 10, make it simple, equals 10, I want to break out of this loop. So I'm going to type break, in the last video, this is pretty much just the same program, but we had continue right here, actually we had a for each variables, or for each loop, so Never mind that, but it's very similar to our last video. So instead of continue here, we're going to type break. And then I'm going to drop this down. And now I'm going to echo VP and I'm going to concatenate break tags. Okay, so let's see what we're doing right here. We created our for loop and our variable starts is equal to zero. And as long as it's less than or equal to 100, it's going to run. And it's going to run in increments of whole numbers or whole integers. But once it gets to 10, it's going to break out of this loop up here and that's it. So imagine that we had like a giant database with a million people in it and the name that we were looking for was only like the 75th. So we're going to run through that loop of 1 million people and once we find that 75th person, we're going to break out of that loop and output whatever we're doing. I mean, it really makes no sense to find that person that's you know, number 75 and then run through the rest of the million. So that's what break is used for. And it's an awesome thing to do in PHP. And I hope you guys understand this. Actually, let's save this and make sure this outputs. There it is. Perfect. So, okay. So again, set it to zero. It's going to run to 100 by increments of one, but we break out of it at 10. Let's go ahead and break out of it at 18 or whatever number you decide to choose. We'll save it, reload it. And now it goes all the way down to 17. So congratulations. You guys successfully learned what a break statement is in PHP. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.